Hi, this is Magic on Tap, I'm Mikey, and I've got a game for you today, and today we're going to be playing Jeskai Arc vs Mono Red Blitz. Okay, so we're just waiting for a player now, and what we got here, so we've got two, we've got three lands, Got turn one playable, we've got turn two playable, and a turn three playable, so kind of all things good. <coughs> Whoa, big sneeze. <coughs> so, yeah, so we've got um, access to white mana and blue mana for turn two, and we can also get access to red mana for turn three. Which is good, it's very good. That's, uh, Let's go with that. So I think the first off we'll do is we're going to start off with turn one, and we're going to play the Hallowed Fountain. Go play just enter the field. Love in the picture. Um, <laughs> we'll take two life, and we'll probably go to Stern Constable. So we're going to see um, whether we're going to go first or we're going to go second. So we'll see. Yeah, and we'll keep as well. Cool, we're on the plate. So we're going to play the Hallowed Fountain, take two life, and play a Stern Constable, and pass the turn. So I think what we'll end up doing is we're going to also play our second Stern Constable, and try and get ourselves some red mana in turn two. Okay, and we've drawn a path to exile. Could come in handy. Let's have a look. Gonna play our flooded strands. Gonna take three life. Go and find ourselves this land here. Um and then, yeah, we're going to play another Stone Constable. And then we're going to swing for one. And then we'll pass the turn. So the only thing we could have done there differently is uh, we could have passed the turn to them and not attacked. Um, meaning that we had the opportunity to tap down their creature. Now, uh, I don't really know what's going to be happening in this game, so it could be totally different to what we expect. Uh, but now we don't have the option because the Stone Constable we played out just this turn is summoning six, so we can't tap it to discard a card and tap down our creature. Oh, nice. Okay, so swinging for swinging for six. Uh, yep, we'll take six. So we've got a few different options. What I think we're going to do is we are going to probably play our Renegade guy uh, for him play our uh, Fushino Burst Blade, and we're going to swing with him for four. And we're going to leave our Stern Constable up to stop any of those crazy attacks which are going to kill us. And we'll probably end up discarding our Snapcaster. Um, uh, 
Okay, so in response to him doing that, we're going to um, tap and then we are going to um, so send our flooded strands to the battlefield. Yep, that is it. That is everything we are going to do. Because I don't want to lose stuff. Should read the card. That is a very important part of playing Magic, is reading cards. So signal pests can't be blocked except by creatures with flying or reach, and certain constable doesn't have flying or reach. So, okay. So this just turned into a royal pain in the ass. But it does leave us in a position where we can effectively get rid of some of his stuff. So first off we want to path the signal pass probably. So we're going to path the signal pest. Only because he is our main issue. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pass the turn, maybe? I don't know. That's what I don't care. We're not going to get rid of our stone constables, so let's. Uh, do this. Cool, and then we'll pass the turn. So what we're going to look to do now is we're going to flash in our um,
Um, one at a time. It's pretty tough here because we don't really know what he's going to draw, so and I'm not really familiar with this deck, so anything could happen here, which is going to cause us problems, so I don't want to swing over too much stuff, but I still want to bleed in for a little bit of damage as we go through the game. So the idea now is to block the Simeon Guide with the Snapcaster, Stern Constable to one of those guys if he blocks, if he attacks, which he's not doing, which is fine. And now I feel that uh, we don't need any land, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep these in our hand, and we're going to just keep swinging at him for two. Because we're not worried about losing the, the guy, so. But we do want to keep enough blockers up. I'm a little bit concerned about the flyer. Um, if you can buff him, then we're in trouble. Um, she probably will do now. Ah, here we go, cool. So he's playing the Bunny Tree Emissary, gets another two mana, he plays the Bushwhacker. Nice. And hasten to the end of the turn. Okay, not an issue. Do they gain plus one? Yes, they do. So we've got one in the air. And. Um, let's think about this. Thinking. Okay, so we've definitely got some hitting us. So, what we could probably do is um, tap down his big guys, one of his big guys. Kill the bushwhacker, maybe, and then the simian guide, probably. Hmm, let's see. Or we just kill a few of them and do it that way. Let's let him declare attacks, and then we'll see what happens. So, 3, 2, 1, 2, definitely going to get 1 coming through, we just need to block accordingly. Okay, so, we definitely got one damage coming through, which we can't block. What's the minimal we can let through? Probably the Bushwhacker. So we will kill... You can't buff them anymore. Let's let through four, leaving ourselves at one. So we'll block here to here, here to here, and here to here. Take four. Whew. Now he can't play that the next turn, so 
the idea is swing for two. It's a tight game. It's a very close game. What I don't want him to do is I didn't want to return the Simeon guy to his hand and then give him the mana he needs to play a bigger card which can destroy me. So that's definitely not what I want to happen. Whew. Okay. Whew. Okay. And then we sweep for uh, yeah, uh, game two. Scoop sideboard. Whew. Flex mage just makes this deck work so well. Okay, so I think the idea now is to possibly. Hmm, it's tough. There's many pain creatures that just cause me a lot of pain. Let's uh, let's just play with what we got, and we've got two mana here. We can play a lot of the stuff we want to play, so we're gonna keep that. Anything we're stuck is we can't get the Geist out on turn 3 from what we've got in our draw, and um, we can't play the Bolt, which is okay because we can play the Path and we can play the Seven Visions and we can also play the Stone Constable, which works in our favour. Okay, swing for 1. I'll take the 1. And now we've got the Steam Vents, so I think what we're going to do is we are going to. Play this path the legions. Cool. And then we'll pass the turn. Okay, so I think the idea on the next turn is to did we draw? Yeah we did. Um, is cool. Yeah, we'll say two. And then we're going to play a Serum Visions to draw a card. And then we are going to uh, Scry 2. Few top two cards. Uh, we will bottom that. And top this. So I'm not really concerned about the land because we've got the three that we need um, to play. But I would like another path, that would be quite useful. We'll pass this turn here. What I'm hoping to do by chucking the land to the bottom is pull into other Lesha sooner rather than later. We've got the two white mana that we need, so I wasn't concerned about that. However, um, response, tap that, discarding this. To tap down that. Ah, yeah. Lots of mistakes in this deck. Uh, <laughs> it's when you're thinking about what you need to say about the deck. It's hard to um, remember what you need to uh, do in terms of the rules. <laughs> And that's fine because sometimes 
we need to just play the game. And making a few mistakes along the way helps you learn. It's all part of playing Magic. Um, we'll play the Snapcaster, flashing in the XL. So just want to get rid of it. Uh, I guess to XL. And there goes the Snapcaster. Okay, and then we'll pass to the opponent. Luckily, what this has done now is put us in a position where we can play Geist and not have to worry. It's not going to be playing any counters, especially as we're playing against red. It's not really a worry for us. Um, and we're going to speed things along, hopefully. Um, now, the kind of spells I'm wanting to play are the Path and the Bolt. Um, because I don't have the mana for it, I'm going to just make sure I can play the Bolt. Well, the path, should we make sure we can play the path? Now let's make sure we can play the bolt. And then we'll pass the turn to the opponent. Okay, not an issue. They have haste apparently, yeah. No, they don't. No haste. Let's get one here. Plus one and haste to the end of the turn. Wow. Lots of damage coming through. Um, that's why I'm quite happy to bolt something and then leave it there. And we're going to take six. Nice place. Okay. Whew. And now we're left on one health. That she smiles at death, puts us in a blocking position maybe. Let's see. First off, we're going to draw. Draw a card and scry two. View top two cards. Okay, uh, we'll bottom that and bottom that. So we got really lucky. Um, Sting Scourge has really helped us out in this game. Um, we're going to be able to bounce this creature. Cool, and then we'll path a guy. Uh, should we path a guy now? Uh, no, we won't. We won't path a guy now. We're going to path him on the return because there might be something better. Bring in our flying angel guy. And then we'll pass the turn.
Cool, sure. Just puts me in a position where I have to send it to the grave, which is fine. It's working out quite well. Play a lasher. Swing for six. What I'm mostly concerned about now in this game is a bolt. Um, really doesn't help us if he gets one of those on the draw. He just needs to top deck it and we've lost. Okay, and our opponent left the game on game two. Um, <laughs> nuts. Cool. Okay, so uh, that wraps up our video for today. So remember, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, then please like and subscribe, uh, especially if you don't want to miss out on more deck techs and games where we really go through the mechanics of the decks right here on this channel. Uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Making sure you've always got magic on tap. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Hi there guys, really quickly, um, over here we're going to have um, the deck tech from this um, matchup and also the um, uh, another deck tech from the channel, uh, Tribal Druids, really fun to make and play, check it out. And also just below this window we're going to have um, a massive subscribe button, so hit that if you enjoyed the video. Thanks again guys, bye bye.